more than 40 years. A landmark near the OU campus is closing down. Today is the last day of business for O'Connell's Irish Pub and Grill at its very famous and recognizable location. Cleveland County reporter Gan Matthews live in Norman. He's trying to wipe away a tear or two, I would imagine. Gan, say it isn't so. Kelly, alas, it is true. OU is buying up their land around here, so O'Connell's has to go. All this month, the pub has been holding a farewell party, but soon it's going to be time to turn out the lights because the party's over. Owner Jeff Stewart spent the day the way he always does, greeting and hobnobbing with customers. He knows the end is near. This is the last call. I know there's been dates beforehand, many dates, but this is finally the last call. Since there won't be another St. Patrick's Day bash, the pub is serving up its famous green beer now. And customers are drowning their sorrows and waxing nostalgic. It's just like, no, I don't want it to be gone. It's just, I don't know, the university is great here in, Kent, on, in Norman, but it's kind of like the parking lots are taking over the communities. Because it sits across the street from Memorial Stadium, O'Connell's has always been a popular watering spot for football fans before, during, and after the games. Started in 1970, my brother-in-law and I would park across the street, come over here and have a burger and beer, and then go to the football games. Many famous guests have visited O'Connell's over the years, but the owner has his favorite such memory. Probably one of my most famous memories are, is when we had uh, Barry Switzer and Osborne here together on a, on a Nebraska game day at the same time. I'm thinking that was the OU Nebraska game of 2000. At any rate, to mark the event, O'Connell's has printed up a commemorative t-shirt, Last Call on Lindsay. And according to the commemorative glass, over the years, O'Connell has sold over 86,000 such t-shirts, along with 1.2 million burgers and, wait for it, almost three and a half million gallons of beer. It almost makes you bleary-eyed thinking about it, doesn't it? Five weddings, too. At any rate, uh, you can party hardy here until 2 a.m., and then they're going to pull the plug. Of course, as most people know, O'Connell's has opened another pub on Campus Corner. Only time will tell whether it will be a worthy successor to the original. Back to you. Yeah, wonderful. We'll still be able to get our green eggs and ham there. All right. We appreciate it again. Tomorrow afternoon, O'Connell's will auction off artifacts from the pub. The proceeds will establish an O'Connell's scholarship at OU.